Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Creative Paper Studio and today I have another flip through for you guys. I absolutely love this journal. Um, I worked on this journal for quite some time. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. She is a chunky uh, alligator mouth journal. It's made out of a book cover and it is field note themed. So, on the cover here, I have this mushroom cutout. Um, this is a piece of ephemera back here, a couple of little labels. I made this specimen slide, put some background paper in it, fussy cut this bug, put the label on there. I've got some uh, corrugated cardboard and some burlap in the background. Got a little bit of fabric. I have distressed the book to make it look really old. And then I went ahead and put some fibers on here and I used some recycled tea to make it look like there's dirt on there. I also distressed the front and the back so that it looks old. And then she has a tie closure. And she just opens right up for you. <laughs> so, let's start at the beginning. Let me make sure I am in frame still and we are good. All right. So, I've put some backing paper on here, used a little bit of fabric to reinforce the spine area. There's this library pocket here uh, with a library card in it. Just a little bit of collaging here with a little squirrel and some fabric and a little ticket and some more of that tea. There's a variety of papers in here including some Edith Holden pages. Um, I have some of these fabric tabs in here that I have gone ahead and stitched with my sewing machine. Um, a decorative stitch on it and then I've just stitched it to the page. Here's just a little torn clustered pocket. Writing card. And some bits of ephemera in this smaller pocket that you could either leave there or decorate your book more with or use as writing. I've put a lot of washi tapes throughout and some fussy cuts. There are also these faux leather fabric tabs as well and coffee dyed paper that I have hand dyed myself. This is my take on a um, kind of like a mini file folder meets Rolodex kind of pocket. And in here, there's this little booklet that just has some papers in it. Some more ephemera pieces in the second pocket. And then some other ephemera pieces in the bottom pocket as well. I just cut my nails, so it's hard for me to get things in and out of the pockets when they're real little like that. Here I have this strip of paper that looks like it's got these stamps on it and I put a little bit of trim here. This is some music paper. I've used several different kits to put this together so um, not everything is going to be the same throughout the book. This is a little fabric flip. I've got this burlap type trim up here at the top and then it's got a few different fabrics. I love this fabric. And then I did some stamping here on the page for a little writing area. And then there's some children's learning page, like this was the teacher's book with her answers in it. And then I've also included some acetate pages in here as well. I just thought those were kind of fun and I added them in as a little tip-in. So it's put in there with some washi tape. On this page is a pocket that has this beautiful tag in it and another journaling card. Those just tuck in there. 
there's the fabric tab that I sewed on the sewing machine there. And then this pocket also opens up. And inside the pocket is a specimen slide. And then I have backed it on the back so that when you flip it over, you can also see what's inside of it. That is closed with a Velcro closure. Tea dyed paper, some piano roll paper. Here's some fabric just added into the signature and some graph paper. I love writing on graph paper and dotted paper. I just think they're so much fun. This is a tuck spot made out of a Tracy Fox tag from her layered tags kit, I do believe. And I just took a couple of the tags and put them together, cut the front one, put some dried flowers in there. And yes, they are real. So there's some leaves and this little flower. I've put some um, faux vintage looking tape on there and a label. And then it's got this tag that sticks underneath it. Some dictionary page. Here's a little flip out. But in the flip out, there's some ephemera pieces and a little tag here. So that again is a double pocket. Here's just the back that I've decorated with some washing, did some more stamping for writing. Cute little squirrel page. And this is wallpaper. So I've folded that over and then I'm not sure if this guy's glued down or not. He is, he's glued in there, but you could tuck something underneath him. And then there's this little envelope that I've just collaged on and then Inside the envelope is just a writing card. It also looks like I've done some stamping here. And then on this side is a tuck spot with another one of those fabric tabs. I've made another specimen slide. And this one has a little tag on it that says sample. And that's just got some dried baby's breath in it. And I just thought that that was so pretty. And then another little tag with some stamping on the back. So those just slide in that pocket. And that was the center of the first signature. This book has three signatures in it. Here's some more of the washi tape that I mean that I, you know, that I was talking about earlier that I've put throughout. There's another piece there. They're just kind of ripped wonky and put throughout just to give extra decoration. And even though there is quite a bit of decoration in the book, there's still lots and lots and lots of room for writing. So again, here's some washi tape, another stamped place for writing. You could even write on here. And even in places where I haven't put the stamp, you could still write there as well. So here's a little torn corner. Um, all of this is glued down, some trim, and then just a simple stamped on little, um, tag there. Again, I've stamped here on this page, but you could write all around this. You don't necessarily have to write right where the lines are at. Music page coffee dyed page, some more Edith Holden, and we go on to signature two. So in signature two, it starts with some Edith Holden paper. Here is one of the fabric strips, another tuck spot that's been made out of the Tracy tags where I cut the front, put some acetate and some dried flowers behind it. And then this is the tall tag that stands behind there. I love that mushroom. That's one of my favorite mushrooms to use. Here's a piece of fabric that just kind of peeks out of the signature a bit. I went ahead and glued a tag on there so you could post a picture on here, do some journaling on this side of it, use it however you want. More washi tape, another journaling place. Again, more washi tape. 
Here's some more of that children's learning book and just a cluster here on the page with a writing spot. Here's another torn pocket on the side. Again, the um, sewing machine sewed tab. Some more of the graph paper, the piano paper. Here's a little floating pocket. So this is a junk with stuff image and then I just la layered it on top of this pocket on top of a little card that I had made and I stuck a tag in here. So you can write on the back of the tag and then you can also write on the back of the pocket itself and then it just clips in wherever you want it. Here is a belly band with some trim under it and another floating pocket. So these are the junk with stuff images as well. And inside this pocket is a large journaling card that you can write on the back of. And that just slides right back in there. Pretty pictures and leaves on the back. Some more fabric and some more dictionary page with washi on the sides ledger paper. I love this washi with the bug and all that. So pretty. Fox page. Now here's another layered pocket. This has a bunch of little pieces of ephemera in it and in the back is a mushroom specimen. Again, I have doubled it on the back so that when you flip it over you can see the image as well. Here is the center of this signature. It starts with again some wallpaper. This is an envelope that I made out of a piece of paper, and inside is just a journaling card. And I do apologize about the furnace kicking in. Uh, that is our air coming on, and um, I do apologize if it's bothersome. So some washi tape down here. I did glue the bottom part of this pocket. That way that holds that in there like it's supposed to. And when you open this up, you have this beautiful scenery here from the wallpaper itself in the center of the book. And that's why I chose to decorate on this side was because I wanted to leave the center of this alone so that you got that pretty image when you opened up your book. So here's another tuck spot, just a handmade little card that I made out of cardstock, and then a one-sided specimen slide, a few tags or a few labels on here as decoration, and then some dried flowers in there, and it is backed so you can write on the back of it. A little cluster down here on the corner of this page. And on this page I have a double see-through pocket. So I just took some cardstock. I took it to my sewing machine and sewed around it, put this here in the middle, and then these come out as little cards and you can write on the back of them, yet you can still see them in the window. I just thought that that was so cute. There's also a couple of brads holding it on, and then on the back side you've got your ledger paper there, more dictionary paper, more fabric tea dyed paper with one of those tabs. This is just a cluster on the page, some washi tape. Here on this page I have a, another corner tuck and in the corner tuck I have this altered playing card that I've punched out in the middle and I have added in some dried flowers of some baby's breath and a little purple flower there and then I have one of the Tracy Fox layered tags that I've decorated up. You can write on the back of that. Some collaging here on this envelope that flips out. You have plenty of writing space there. Again, this is decorated up with the washi tape and then you have your um, acetate page. On this acetate page, I did put a mini file folder that just opens up. It's got a little piece of ephemera in here and plenty of room for writing. And this just goes behind the acetate and clips on with this little paper clip that has a tag on it. There's some more of that children's book. 
another writing spot with washi tape, coffee dyed paper. Here's another altered playing card. This one is attached with a little paper clip. It's got a fabric tab on the top with a little piece of string and a mushroom charm. It's got a little bit of cluster down here for collaging with some, um, it looks like cheesecloth, a little label, a little bit of that recycled tea, and the paper clip has a little button hanging from it. That's attached to some Edith Olden page, and that's the end of signature two. So then we come into signature three, and signature three is basically the same as the first two. So it starts with your Edith Holden paper, has a little bit of fabric in it. This has been sewn into a pocket if you want to store some things in there. A little bit of collaging on this page. I'll try to go through the third signature a little bit quicker. There's that children's page. This one is really like torn and has that old tape on there that's falling off and it's just so yummy. Some coffee dyed paper with some of that tab on there. Cluster of washi there. This is that junk with stuff image again. Here's another pocket. In this pocket there's another altered playing card with some leaves and flowers inside of it and then a little tag. More coffee dyed paper, dictionary paper, the ledger paper, just some ephemera here put into a little book like a little notepad but it's all just different little receipts and like guest check looking things and stuff. I thought that was super cute. It's held together at the top with a little bit of fabric and a label. There's the wallpaper in the center again with a fold out. And at the top of this fold out there is a little dangle that has a mushroom, um, a charm that says beautiful, and then just some stamping on the keychain part. This does open up. The tag itself is a pocket and then the envelope is a pocket as well. A little bit of collaging in the corner of that page. Here's a double pocket in a different way. It's just one on one side, one on the other with a tall tag and then a journaling card that's been stamped on. We go back to some more dictionary page. This is glued down. You could tuck something underneath of it if you wish to. Another little pocket. Again, I'm not going to pull out all these little pieces of ephemera, but I will pull out the bigger pieces. So there's a little tag and a little coin envelope. Not sure if I stuck anything in it. Nope. So that is there for you to fill up. More washi tape. Here's the acetate page in this signature, followed by a pocket, another altered playing card, and a tag, and this tag has been double-sided. This has a little charm on it of an acorn. It's got some brads holding the label on there. Super cute. I like how those turned out. more children's page. Here's a, another see-through specimen tag of sorts that I've put in as a tuck spot. And this is the tag that hides behind it. And that is the end of the signature. So now in the back of the book we have this little file folder part that opens up to the left and to the right. On this side, there's a little pocket that holds this little notepad of papers. Here's a little belly band here on the front with some washi tape. And this little tag just hides in there. 
Then in the middle, there is one of these um, like file folder closure things and you've got some papers here that have been stamped on each one. So you've got yourself a deer, some wheat leaves or something it looks like, a little fox, and a flower. And then at the very end of it, you've got this little cluster here with a squirrel and this pocket that holds just some extras that you can use throughout your book if you wish. So those go in there. And then that opens like that. A little bit more fabric. It ends with the Edith Holden and the end of the book. So, this book will be for sale. Um, if you are interested in it at all, please feel free to contact me. Um, I accept PayPal as payment form. And um, you will pay the shipping cost as well. So, if you are interested in this journal at all, please do not hesitate to let me know. Until next time, guys, keep it crafty, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.